What's up guys? I am finally back in front of a camera. You may or may not know that recently I've been pretty ill, uh, but it feels, it feels good to be back. I am still a little bit rough, so uh, excuse me if I'm coughing and splurting during this, but Look who I'm with! Oh, oh god! Oh, the antics dude, have already oh, started! The antics have already started! I'm with Mr. Shmee, Sam from Scene Through Glass, and my co-driver, Seb Delaney, which, of which I'm about to jump back with, into a car with again. We live together. I am, we, lately, I am two, two days out of bed. When I say that, I've been, been bed-ridden for the last week. More on, on that soon. Uh, but today, myself and Seb, are jumping into an ice silver McLaren 570 GT. Super excited, uh, and I'm also very happy. Yeah, because our car's been specced with the uh, sports exhaust, which I know Tim's a little bit pissed off about because he really wants the sports exhaust. But I think later on in the day we're going to be swapping rides and things. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm just super happy to be back in front of a camera sharing supercar adventures with you guys. Uh, it's been really, really crap and sucked big time being just off grid, really. Um, and I also like to take this opportunity as well to say thank you to everyone uh, who wished me well. It genuinely did perk me up, so thank you for that. But now, let's go check out these cars. 150 litres of space in the front amount of space and in fact uh, you've got all the first aid kit warning triangle which is built into this section here. So around the rear, this is most definitely how I like to spend my morning. <laughs> Actually a crushed carbon finish. Oh, well, so yeah, it's a really uh, thin frame here and when you try to use either steel or aluminium it'll flex too much so that's why we've gone for that. So just in the back here we've got your lunch. lunch. You'll notice we've got oh, look a camper at this. There. Got a full on hamper in the back. Drinks at the top, so yeah, you can Dude. literally sold on this car already. Lunch, that's amazing. <laughs> that's a Fort so Mason, no less, sir. Of course. <laughs> and your best. Lovely. So yeah, just unclip it from this side when you get up to the observatory, and um, we'll Fantastic. have some drinks to go with that as well. Amazing. Awesome. So of course we are test driving the GT model. So I'm gonna pop the boot and actually stick my bag in it. Oh, After all, that's what this is for. This boot. That's what I, this I did is for. Boot. Front boot. I'm gonna try it out. Go man. for it. Just see how it goes. That one looks really nice as well. The the, the white, white one? Yeah, yeah. I think if I, I was specking one, it might actually be white. Okay. Let's have a go sticking this in the back. I think this would maybe be my. There you have it. The practicality unfolds. There it is, man. And then just close it down. Sweet. Dude. Dihedral doors. Oh, so cool. Doors. They add so much drama to it, don't they? So you're starting off? We're starting off, yeah. Um, yeah. Casual Tuesday morning. Yeah? Just uh, in Tenerife. We're in Tenerife for the sort of global press launch of the um, McLaren 570 GT. And uh, yeah, we've been super, super we have lucky to get big time. invited here to drive this fantastic car. So let's do it, man. Back, let's go. We're back in the driver's seat again together. Boom! Although in a nicer car this time. And this time I'm let's not let's not die. More on that later. Here we go. There's a We're swell moving. of talk. We are Take moving. Oh uh, we also have sat uh, Let's see if we can work out how to turn it now. This has been upgraded with the sports exhaust system, uh, which makes it sound rather splendid. Rather nice. Yeah, rather splendid. Now I was fortunate enough to drive a 570S about four or five weeks ago. So it's not super fresh in my mind, but it's fresh it's, enough. It's fresh enough to, to be able to sort of pick out the differences. I'm trying uh, to adjust my seat. You know what these seat controls are quite tricky. Yeah? Yeah. I'm still taking this on board what we're doing this morning, bro. It's, <laughs> it's like, we're going left. It's crazy. That's what we're doing. We're going left. It is uh, a bit surreal. Let's so go drive up a volcano in a McLaren. Yeah, we're, that's what's happening. We're volcano driving. Then arrived waypoint. So James, tell us about the different traction <laughs> modes. <laughs> well, I think straight away it's an indicator of what car I would probably lean towards because we set off from the car park in track mode. <laughs> so, yeah, which is good um, because Rather than having a completely seamless shift, I think it has like an artificial throttle cut which replicates a tap in the back. And but, pop on uh, the up change as well. pop on the up changes, which we haven't experienced yet because we're currently following a van in like a 30 zone. So everything's, everything's going very calm right now. That is quick. not hang around. That was partial throttle. We need the van to go, and then we shall unleash hell. 
up <laughs> on Tenerife. So last night in the briefing, we were told that uh, we are going to drive up and what is classed as an active volcano. Mm. Uh, I think the statistic was, if it were to erupt, uh, it would create a tsunami that would wipe out New York. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we've, been, we've been told to take it uh, steady. Yeah. <laughs> so not to, to uh, uh, aid disturb eruption. the tectonic movement. <laughs> but you, and with your luck recently of nearly dying Lately, about three yeah. times a week. They say things happen in threes and that's that, that's it now, I'm done. So now it's your turn for some bad luck. Awesome. So as long as I'm not the guy to set the volcano off, all good. experience of last time I drove a McLaren I was in England England's lovely but today we are in the sunny country of Tenerife and we're about to drive uh, up some I would say mountain passes but technically it's volcano passes we're, we're on a volcanic island uh, yeah and we're taking this new car up there and now I'm yeah. super excited about it man. update both of our GoPros have died on us it's not a battery thing why. we've got them plugged directly in we're wondering if something like the only explanation we have is that potentially some software that is in the uh, 570 GT might have tampered with the uh, GoPros because we both plugged them in to charge them up and it's happened to both separate GoPros so we're freewheeling handicam style doesn't detract from what a great time I'm having. I just hope it's coming through on camera. I think it's all right, man. This road is absolutely incredible. So, observations then. The first thing that comes to mind is it goes like hell. It's still very much a sports car. Um, I am actually picking up on a bit of turbo lag. It's not huge, but 
I guess I might be a, a bad person to compare it with because I'm driving a GT3 most of the time, which has fantastic throttle pickup. But when this thing comes in, it comes in hard. Like, it is not hanging around here. And these roads are fantastic. Yeah, slight lag there. It's not huge, but in fact, if anything, I think it adds character to the uh, car. Also, as we found out last night, the 570 GT doesn't come with carbon ceramic brakes as standard. Now I guess most of the time you're not going to be driving this car like this, but on these roads I'm very thankful for it because there's some really tight switchbacks, first and second gear at times. Because this um, one's got them off and down, doesn't it? This one ha has them on and I'm thankful for it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it stops well. Wow, but I tell you what, it's definitely a very enjoyable car to be in, to take up this road. I really, I wouldn't class myself as an automotive journalist, but my benchmark for what makes a successful car, for me anyway, is if it makes me smile. Right now, going up these roads, the smile is real, <laughs> the smile is big. Don't get me wrong, it helps where we are. The views here are absolutely incredible. Look at this road. Wow. This is physically fun. Like, it, it's, it's, it's a physical like, experience. It is, isn't it? When car. the turbo kicks in, it really comes in fantastically. It doesn't break traction. I mean, obviously, we're on lovely, hot, smooth asphalt. Um, but it cuts the power down. It just squats down and fires you out. Yeah. feel like it's willing to oversteer or understeer at all? I would say it definitely feels more understeery. I think the nature of this car, of course, we have to remember that we're not in a 570S, we are in a 570 GT. And the nature of this car has been set up, so it's a little bit softer, a little bit more refined, and I guess not less scary, but its intention is to understeer more than oversteer. I'm sure <laughs> he's definitely got enough power to make it oversteer. Uh, I'm having a very good time, so I'm not going to uh, attempt that right now, because I'd like to go back to England in one piece. I've spent plenty of time in a ped lately. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, but look at the roads that these guys have arranged for us. They've really set us up for a fantastic time. All right, we've made it to Checkpoint, uh, which is an observatory, no less. Right at the highest point of uh, this mountain range. Uh, and I've, I've been told this is the first time the observatory has allowed uh, press events up here with cars, so we're very fortunate to be here. Hey, how's it going? Good? All right, I have just had my very first experience together with Mr. Delaney in the yes. 570 GT. Uh, needless to say, blew my socks off. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, but what is it? enhancing this whole experience is the location we're in. Let's have a look around at this place. We are <laughs> what appears to be the surface of Mars and uh, we are at an observatory. Check it out, it is fantastic and the view and you can see over from here the whole island. Yeah, It's so no so cool. So yeah we now have lunch, in a basket. lunch stop. Our uh, little uh, basket has been pulled out of the back of our 570 GT and they've walked us up to this it's really nice Mars. hospitality area. You said it perfectly. It really is. It's like Mars, look, check it out. Like we're tennis on we're up here. Yeah, and we're gonna now have some refreshments amongst this incredible view. And chill. Gotta tell you, Tuesdays don't get much better than this. <laughs>
Okay, lunch stuff over. That is definitely the best lunch I've ever had on a Tuesday. <laughs> it's, uh, the location is just insane. I'm obviously gonna splice in some clips here of where exactly we are, but just to put it into context, we just had a uh, picnic lunch at the top of a volcano, surrounded by incredible, endless blue sky. And down below here is a collection of McLarens, which we just happen to have keys to. Um, also, Look what's joined us. It's an LT spider. Pretty cash. Uh, so yeah, now we're uh, sort of heading back to our cars. I'm gonna grab a word with our resident YouTuber, Mr. S uh, Sam from Seen Through Glass. Uh, yeah, how's that going? Uh, experience so far? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah your, in your vlog's turning it more into like a, like a food. Flowers and fruit. Flowers and fruit. Look okay, at this. Can I just run you through this? R run me. Quickly. Do it. Not the, not the right spec. Not the right spec. See, this is our car. Yeah. This one here. The best interior. Chocolate brown. Yeah. Let me just have a look at this. It's just the is this the best interior? Come on. Really? Tan. It is nice. Imagine if it was red. But I, it is red. Ours is red. No, no, no. Red paint. Oh, Red paint, stay, stay. tan interior. Yes. You need to move to Miami, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about this, this one? This is this the same color as the car on the roof? Because yes. in the sunlight, it's a it's game changer. It's unbelievable, isn't it? In the way it transforms stun, yeah, and changes. It is amazing. And do you know what? This, all of these, are they all specced with carbon splitters? Yeah, they are. The carbon splitters, essential. I'm not sure if they're standard or not. I would do this whole thing here. You do, okay. This whole insert. Classic JWW. What? <laughs> really? And these yeah. wheels? I would also opt for those wheels. Yeah, they're probably my favorite wheels. And having driven those roads in this, I would also upgrade to carbon ceramic brakes because mm, interesting. Yeah, this thing does not hang around. Yes. And I was thankful for it on the <laughs> yeah. way up here. Yeah. No doubt I'll be more thankful on the way down. This is what's going on all day. We are in locations like this with cars like this. I don't think it can get much better, can it really? Um, again, I'm in one of those situations where the vocabulary situation, again, where I don't quite have the words to convey to you guys how fantastic this is. But as I keep saying, this channel, my channel is all about taking you guys along for this ride. So I'm like frantically running around, trying to film scenery, trying to film cars. It's endless, it's absolutely endless. I mean, look at this. I'm not sure if this camera is capturing it. If it captures just 10% of what I'm seeing right now, if I can send this down the internet and share it with you, mission complete. Um, so yeah, we're currently uh, halfway through our day. The observatory is our checkpoint, uh, and we're now gonna swap drives, and we have McLaren have closed a road for us. Uh, on lots of events like this, I'm never too sure when I watch other journalists driving these cars, just, you know, pitching them sideways around hairpins, if the roads are actually closed. But I can genuinely clarify that the roads we're about to drive are closed for just for us today to experience these cars to the full. Let's check it out. Okay, we're back in the 570GT. We've swapped drivers, clearly. Seb isn't in the driving seat been in it for all of three seconds. Well, we just had a fantastic lunch stop. One of the best I've ever had ever. Like, yeah. even outside of the whole car world. That was stuff. one of the best places I've ever had lunch. Uh, so thank you, McLaren, for putting on that wonderful stop. Uh, but look at the views here. Look at this place. Magic, absolutely magic. So we're now heading to our um, closed road. road. Um, could be yeah, worse. Could definitely be worse, man. Like, this is fantastic. It's always been the dream to be in, at one of these events and then close the road, because it does not always yeah. happen. It never happens. No. So, to be here in a car of such note, yeah. together with my friend, in the sunshine, on the good. side of a volcano, I'm slap myself. I know. It's I know. so cool. This is what dreams are This is what of. dreams are made of. It is so, so cool. Um, yeah, so we're winding our way down the mountain a little bit and then we're gonna go to close the road area where we're gonna get to do some drive-by shots uh, and obviously put the car through its paces uh, a bit more than we did earlier. It's gonna be fun. See you in a moment.
spent now three quarters of our day in the 570 GT, and I'm with Mr. McLaren himself. <laughs> Mr. McLaren. Mr. McLaren himself. I mean, it's interesting from my point of view because you've owned pretty much every McLaren since the 12C, except for a, a P1. Except for a P1, damn it. Yeah. One day. One day. That's day. the dream. Um, how are you finding it? What's your take so, on it? I mean, for me, it's quite interesting because I went to the 570S press launch not that long ago. Yes. Um, so I got a good drive with that in the Algarve, the south of Portugal. Nice. Which is roads and sort of scenery and environment very similar to this. Yeah. And the one, the big thing is that this car does feel softer and that's what it's supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. Um, it's softer, it's quieter, it's noticeably quieter. Um, obviously you have the quieter tyres, you have the quieter exhaust system, yes. all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so I think this fills a very, very nice niche for the kind of car that you're going to be happy driving long distances all yeah, the time yeah. but still when we're on a road like this God. how much fun is it yeah, I've been gone like, back the whole yeah, way here we're down second gear off we go again off we go off overtaking and it just launches it's so fast it picks up but it's that it's swell of torque it is thick it's, with torque isn't yes, it yes you know and it's instant I mean I found myself having driven a lot in the GT3 lately mm -hmm. I've been shifting when I just don't need to because yeah. so, the torque is available pretty much always yeah. We've got 600 newton meters in here. That's 570 or substantial. Yeah. Um, they're big numbers. They're very big numbers. Yeah. Yeah. And they feel big as well. I mean, yeah. there's one thing reading on paper, but applying this thing to tarmac, mm -hmm. I mean, they stack up. It goes so yeah. well. Buggies. <laughs> different kind of talk. <laughs> very different. So that's it, we are back. We have spent the whole day in the new McLaren 570 GT. So what's it all about? Well, I think if anything, this car's actually uh, spoken more about my preference in cars uh, rather than the car itself. And what I mean by that is we were only 30 seconds out of the uh, driveway of the hotel this morning and instinctively I reached down and I put it in track mode straight away. So I think me as a demographic for this car? Probably not. I do like my supercars to be super. I like them to be a little bit more hardcore. Not that a 570S is a hardcore supercar, but I did find when I was up in the mountains, the GT is doing exactly what it says on the tin. They softened it down a bit. It's a lot more of a relaxed environment to be in. You could easily do very long journeys in these cars. I mean, it's so plush. So yeah, all in all, most definitely this car is incredibly impressive and fundamentally this is almost a 570S. So they've taken this fantastic, fairly focused driver's supercar, softened it off a bit, added the practicality with the hatch in the back, quieted it down a bit inside, and it is just a lovely grand Tourer. And for that, I applaud these guys. It's one of the best GT cars I've been in. And approaching it this morning, I wasn't sure I was actually gonna come out and say that because I, to be completely honest, I did think this is a 570S with a boot. Experiencing the sum of its parts, it is so much more than that. It is a very capable grand touring supercar. And if you're looking, for an alternative supercar that you want to use every single day. The best thing I can say about it is, I don't have a bad word to say about it. I just wanna get in it and drive and keep driving. So, that's it for the day. Thank you, McLaren, for inviting us down to Tenerife. This is my first time on the island. And also, for letting us drive your fantastic car. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Ciao.